Do you know what's stuck in my head? Wow, 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 wow. It's a carrot cake. <laughs> I'm gonna make it everybody's problem today. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Just Shy. I am Shy, the person who literally cannot get carrot cake out of my head now. <laughs> Not the adjective and welcome to a chill with shy video where we will just sit back chill relax maybe get something done in the background and in this instance sleeve my many many photo cards i'm um, i mean many <laughs> it's um, quite frankly overwhelming <laughs> this time around um so yes I have all of my supplies here as always. Everything I used is linked down below, but if you can't find something, just DM me or make a comment on this video and I will let you know what I'm using. But yeah, we got a lot of photo cards to sleeve, so let's get to it. First things first, we gotta sort these bad boys out. The majority I know is gonna be ATs, but like, I feel I really did well with like, <laughs> getting some other groups. I just feel that in my spirit, you know? Like I I did the thing, not a lot this month. I thought I was going to have more time than I did, honestly. Um, but yeah, no, as always, tax season is kicking my butt and I can't wait for it to be over even though the bonuses are so nice. <laughs> so nice. Um, to a suspicious degree. <laughs> If you don't follow me on Instagram, you may have missed, but um, I posted about a bonus that I got from my job. I mean, I, I always make bonuses. I make bonuses every tax season. So that was not the suspicious part. The suspicious part was like, how much? <laughs> how much and how often I was getting bonuses, you know? Um, that's That's what I was like afraid that I was like committing some kind of long game scheme. What even, why? I did not sort this well. Like, it just made me feel like I was playing the long con when I was not. I was in fact not playing any kind of con, but it made me feel like I was. So, oh God, okay. <laughs> Every single time. Uh, all right, this is fine, this is fine. Um. So yeah, every tax season, I do, in fact, make bonuses. I get a cash bonus at the end of the tax season, which is a few thousand dollars. And then I get, oh my gosh, I forgot. Oh my gosh, I love the sleeping photo cards because then I can see what I got during the month. <laughs> Such a good time. Um, so yeah, I make a few thousand dollars at the end of tax season as like an end of season bonus. And that one's just straight up cash money. We love to see it. And then um, during the season, like as we're going through and such, I will also get like what we call spotlight awards, <laughs> where basically somebody recognizes you um, for doing something good or... It also is for like the weird competitions they hold like, oh, who can have the highest customer satisfaction rate this week or, you know, weird things like that. So I ended up like winning one of those. It was like a customer obsession for like dealing with a really difficult customer. Um, and I was like, oh, yay. And it was like 25 bucks. And I was like, ah, yeah, this is awesome. And like th these are what I usually spend on like my Barnes and Noble Target Amazon gift cards so that I can buy a metric ton of albums, you know? So I was like, oh yay, this is great. <laughs> Love this for me. And then the next day I got two more, both $25 increments. And I was like, this is suspicious. <laughs> this is suspicious now. <laughs> like, mm -mm. <laughs> like usually I will receive like two or three during the tax season but like they'll be spaced out. Like I'll get one in the beginning and then maybe two more near the mid to the end and like, that's it. Um, but no, I got two the next day and I was like, how? How? Especially because I wasn't even working those days. <laughs> like I was off. So I was like, how? How am I winning something? I'm not even here. Like, 
<laughs> is that not suspicious? Would you not be suspicious of that? So I figured like it was like maybe a mistake or maybe the system generated like duplicate emails or something. So I go log into like the system where you can redeem your gift cards and everything. And sure enough, <laughs> there's $75 of gift cards just sitting there. And I was like, that's real weird. I'm not going to redeem that. Like, uh -uh. <laughs> no, ma'am, I'm not, I'm not gaming any systems out here. Like you ain't going to catch me in these streets. Nope. Um, so I just like left it there and I just, you know, waited a couple of days and I was like, I don't, they haven't said nothing. They haven't like, you're like, Oh, we sent out, you know, erroneous gift cards. Like, please don't redeem it, whatever. They, they didn't say nothing. So I was like, okay. <laughs> So I posted about it and I was like, I don't know why this is happening, but I'm grateful. Literally two days later, two more gift cards show up. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, no, this has to be a mistake. This, oh my God, I have way too many photo cards in here. <laughs> Give me this side. Okay. Yay. We're working on it. We got it. Um, Yeah. Two more gift cards show up and I'm like, no, this, this is. This ain't right, especially because the two more that showed up were for $50 each. And I was like, okay, so I got three of them already for a total of 75. And now I have two more for $50 each. Like I'm up to $175. What, are, what is going on around here? <laughs> like nobody can tell me that that's not suspicious. That's hella suspicious. <laughs> And so I posted again on my Instagram. I was like, okay, no, but like for realsies, like I, I'm good at my job. I am. Um, I will never say that I'm not. I worked very hard to get to where I am and everything like that. I am good at my job. However, I am not. I am not so big headed <laughs> that I would think that I am that good at my job <laughs> to win. What were we at? Like five different awards? At that point, like, no, <laughs> ain't adding up. I was like, ain't no way, ain't no fucking way. Um, and I was just like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, quite frankly. And like, I technically have like multiple job titles <laughs> for my job, for said job. Like... Also, I'm just going to keep all these Taeyongs. People kept trying to, like, take my Taeyongs. And I'm like, no, I'm just going to keep all my Taeyongs. <laughs> For what purpose? Yet to yet to be seen. But we're going to keep, we won't keep this Johnny, though. We, we only need one of that Johnny. I just... <laughs> Is this a different? That's a different Doyoung. Why do I have so many Doyoungs? Um, so, like... Technically, I transferred over to the business side of tax, which is way more lucrative. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, I get paid way more money. So that's why I transferred over there. Um, but like I still take calls and like questions from individual tax, like just personal taxes. So, you know, I am both like business, customer support, I'm product support, I'm a tax expert, so you can ask me tax questions, like I, I do a lot of things. <laughs> and so I was looking at these awards and it was like, I was being awarded for every single one of my technical job titles, even though like in the company, I'm just considered like a business tax expert, <laughs> but like to like customer facing, you know, that I'm like also product support and like this, that and the other. I think I counted and I had like six different job titles technically. Oh, <laughs> uh, and so I was like, this is not gonna fit. This is just straight up not gonna fit, but these are so cute. Oh, uh, okay, we'll figure something out with that. So yeah, I was like looking at all these awards and it was like, oh yeah, this is for business product support and this is for individual product support and this is for like consumer tax and business tax and business product support. And I was like, oh my God, like I, I'm not, I'm not good enough at my job to win in every single category. Let's just say that straight up. Like I'm not, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> okay. I'm good at my job. I'm not that good at my job. Like ain't, ain't no way. Absolutely ain't no way.
Jesus Christ, we have a lot of photo cards today. I thought I wasn't going to need a second one for Psychers, but I definitely am. <laughs> let's not speak on it, though. Let's not speak on it. Okay, let's organize this and then start actually slapping sleeves on photo cards. Okay, we're going to start with my Psychers kiddos. I put them in the orange uh, popcorn game sleeves. Hopefully two, well, one and a half really is going to be enough. Haven't had a ton of Psychers cards in a while. <laughs> but yeah, so I was just like, I don't, I don't know what is going on here. This is weird. This is suspicious. But, you know, again, I have many job titles and they were saying that I, I was being rewarded for my many job titles and having um, really high um, customer satisfaction. But like, there's a caveat to that. So I just <laughs> trying to I'm trying to figure out how to say this and not sound <laughs> suspicious. I know exactly how I'm being monitored, basically. And so like I always do things that are in my best interest. <laughs> Now it sounds like I really did game the system, but like that was not, that was not my intention. So like we, all of the like calls, all of the chats, all of the emails, everything is like monitored by the company, of course. Like ain't nobody getting away with nothing around here. So every word I say is actually like assessed by AI and like we're given a score for that for like how much did we um, positively speak about the company and like... <laughs> <laughs> how much did we like improve the customer's mood like it's a it's a weird thing it's a weird weird AI thing but I know what the AI looks for and so like I will just say specific things that will make the AI say oh she hit this and this marker <laughs> like she is basically doing her job like I'm doing my job <laughs> Even if, like, somebody leaves upset, it won't reflect poorly on me negative. Um, it won't reflect poorly on me necessarily. And so I feel like that has something to do with it because usually scores are around, like, 70, 80-something because you get good customers and you get highly upset customers is what I will call them. But mine stays around 95 to 99%. <laughs> so like it is, it is incredibly high. Um, even when I have like meetings with my boss, because, you know, I have to go in and we have to speak about the tax season and like we have to go over my metrics and all of that. Even she's like, um, you know... Your metrics are very high. <laughs> Your metrics are almost perfect. So like she's like, I never know what to tell you to work on um, besides, you know, getting more surveys because they are just like an incredibly survey focused company. Like we have to take surveys about like our managers, customers have to take surveys about us. Like they, they are just survey heavy. Um, and like I... I'm not social. <laughs> newsflash. Newsflash of the day. Like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a carrot cake. Shy's not social. <laughs> it's a carrot cake. <laughs> Sorry. Um, K-pop brain. But no, she's like, yeah, you really don't have anything that I would say, like, you really need to work on, except for, like, getting more surveys. We do have, like, a minimum requirement of surveys that we have to get to get our bonus at the end of the at the end of the tax season because like they split our bonus up into like different percentiles that like we have to hit this quota number to like get this percent of our bonus um and so like 30 percent of my bonus at the end of the tax season just depends on if people take surveys about me they can be good they can be get uh bad but like i have to push people to, to like take that survey and like rate me. <laughs> oh, what is in this sleep? Um, guess who's not good at that? It's me. Yeah, it's me. Uh, cause like, yeah, I'm just, I'm not, <laughs> I've never been a good saleswoman. I'm not a good 
pitch woman um, and I don't really want to be like it is something that I could work on if I wanted to but I, I don't really want to so every single tax season I just I just get the bare minimum like this year they were like oh you have to have 12 and I was like guess who's sitting at 13 right now <laughs> barely scraping by like <laughs> I was like, I did all I needed to do. Why why would I go out here and do extra? Because from, from my perspective, think about it. What is my incentive to go out here and get 50 surveys? I don't get any extra bonus for getting extra surveys. Like once you hit it, like you get the bonus. That's your reward. So like, why would I then go out of my way to try to get like 50 or 100 or whatever more surveys yes that benefits the company but it doesn't really benefit me like they're not gonna pay me extra so like <laughs> what it comes down to is I do what I'm paid to do and no more and certainly no less um which you know I feel like a lot of specifically American and maybe Asian uh, work culture says that you should always be like doing the most and exceeding expectations. Come in early, stay late. It doesn't matter that you're not being paid for that. You should want the company to succeed. And I'm like, why? I don't own that company. <laughs> Whether they succeed in that is is not really on me. If the company goes down, I'm not going with it. I'll just go work for a different company. I am a normal, regular ass worker. Okay, this company ain't out here feeding my children, paying my bills. <laughs> I mean, technically they are because they pay me, but like I'm working for that. They're not doing it out of the kindness of their heart. And so I'm not sure why I should be expected to do things out of the kindness of my heart when they're not doing things out of the kindness of their heart. You know, like it's work. It's a work relationship. It is tit for tat. <laughs> and I don't know why there's this narrative to try to make it more for that. Like we're a family. No, you not. No, you not. <laughs> when I'm sick and in the hospital, I have to take, you know, paid time off if I have it. Otherwise, I just have to be sick and injured with no pay. You're not in the hospital bringing me a fruit basket being like, don't worry about your job. Everything's going to be fine. Like, no, you still expect me to find a way to magically get better and come back to work and be productive. And if I'm not productive, I will be cut. No ifs, ands, or buts. So we are not a family. <laughs> I don't know how I got into this rant, but <laughs> this is where we are now. Welcome to Chill with Shy, really. So yeah, I I don't, you know, go above and beyond unless I'm paid to go above and beyond. And I and I will always be like that. Um, so yeah, but yeah, so after that, and I again posted on my Instagram, I was like, no, this is this is like for real suspicious, like, mm -mm. and then I, I got a bunch of messages of people being like, you have imposter syndrome, believe in yourself, you deserve everything. <laughs> and I'm like, to an extent, yes. But like also, this is suspicious. <laughs> so I honestly, I did not redeem not a single one of those gift cards. I just left it in there. I was like, you know, I don't, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm, I'm not going to be the one out here redeeming fraudulent gift cards and then losing my job over it. Like, nope, <laughs> it, I, I was sent this, but if you want it back, you can have it back. Like I didn't ask for this, you know, whatever. Um, and so I ended up having uh, another meeting with my boss. We had another damn 6 p.m. work meeting. If you don't know, I try to get off by like 2 p.m. I work 5 a.m. to usually around 2 um, or 3 p.m. if I get stuck with a difficult person who's just like, why do I owe $30,000? And I'm like, why are you complaining when you ha made a half a million dollars? You made a half a million dollars and you're complaining about a $30,000 tax bill? Like, are you serious right now? <laughs> Some people's annual salaries aren't even 30K and you're going to complain? You're going to complain, but okay. Um, but yeah, I had a, another meeting with my boss and I was told her, I was like, hey, um, I received some gift cards. I don't know where they came from. And she basically verified that, yeah, it's because my stats are so high. <laughs> She's like, yeah, you're just, you know, you're one of the highest ranked people in the company right now. Um, and so they were like, she told me straight up, she was like, they'll probably change the rules to basically nerf me because they have learned that, like, if you figure out the AI system, <laughs> 
you can end up like me and having just really, really high scores across the board that don't necessarily reflect <laughs> how the customers feel about the company or like how um, they feel about my service in particular. Because although I, will, I really do like try my best to make sure that every customer is taken care of. I try to make sure that their mind is at ease and everything like that, especially for the people who are self-preparing, which is the majority of people. Not a lot of people come come to, you know, self-prepare tax preparation software to then have somebody else prepare it, even though they, they try it. They really be out here trying it sometimes. Okay, now we'll sleeve everything that needs to be in a normal size or what I consider standard size, which is this size, which is Dragon Shield size. <laughs> photo card sleeve in these green popcorn game sleeves i literally lost my train of thought and i am dead ass thinking about wow don't know how that's a carrot cake <laughs> i need to be stopped that song is just like so nct i love it i love it so much but yeah so after my meeting with my boss and I felt like reassured, I was like, okay, well, what am I gonna get? Um, what am I gonna spend it on? Like, I have so much gift card, like I can probably get a couple. And I was kind of deciding um, between like how much I wanted to get for Barnes and Nobles and all of that. Um, and then lo and behold, <laughs> I get three freaking more gift card notification emails and i'm like are you serious are you serious and so all in all i ended up with 235 dollars in bonus gift cards <laughs> i swear to god i did not <laughs> exploit the system i didn't know that was gonna happen that was not my intended result but yeah so I ended up being like, okay, well, we're just, we're just gonna like live our best life basically. Um, and so I was like, well, what, at this point I was like, that's kind of a lot to just have for albums <laughs> that, you know, I don't even know when they're going to drop. Like nothing's even scheduled yet. Like that's, that's kind of a lot. So I was like, okay, well, what is something that like I would want for myself that I wouldn't necessarily buy for myself because I would consider it like a waste of money, <laughs> you know, because sometimes, you know, you're a full grown adult and you see something cool, but you're like, that's absolutely a waste of my, of my funds. Like times is rough out here. We can't be out here buying things that are, you know, for nothing. Um, and like, it was on Friday and I was like, oh my gosh, the new Nintendo Switch stuff came out. So Nintendo uh, released pastel Joy-Cons, the little controllers, and they, for some reason, like mix matched them for no reason. So they had one that was like the right side was pastel pink, but the left side was like mint green this like weird minty green color and then the other one had like they released a second one and the right side of the controller was pastel purple and i think the left side was pastel blue or like reverse either way um if i can find a picture of it i'll put it on the screen of course but yeah so they released these pastel controllers and people went nuts people went wild um i was one of them i was like these are so pretty you know how much i love pastels i picked um I do have a Nintendo Switch that I play occasionally, <laughs> occasionally, can't even lie, it's not all the time, that I play occasionally, and so, like, I really wanted the controller that had the pastel pink, but I really wanted the other side to be pastel blue, but that was not an option, because they, they were, like, both the same side of the controller, so, like, you can't get, their Nintendo Switch controllers are, like, shoes, like, you can't get two left shoes and expect it to work out, basically. These are going to need to go in the purple ones. These are perfect fit sleeves. I do these when I need to double sleeve something, which I'm going to use for all these tayons. <laughs> I have a plan. I have a vision for them. But yeah, so I was like, okay, well, 
it is what it is. Like the green isn't that bad. Like I, I didn't like that color of green. I still don't. So I bought that. And then like a few months later, they were like, oh, we see the reception to our pastel line is enormous. And we see that y'all are very upset that you couldn't have two of like the same color of pastel. So they were like, we're going to release um, another set of pastel controllers and they're all gonna match. So, you know, you can have two pinks, two purples, two greens, two blues, whatever you want, or you can buy two different controllers and mix match them yourself, um, so on and so forth. And so um, I had forgotten about that because again, it's been months. They did like a pre-order for it. I didn't pre-order it because I was like, I literally just bought a Nintendo Switch controller for no reason. Like I can't buy another one. Um, but they actually came out on Friday as well as a new um, game, the new Princess Peach game, which just looks so incredibly cute and fun to play. So I was like, oh, I would really like that. So I ended up spending $150 on that. <laughs> I bought, the. Uh, let me show you because it's so cute. <laughs> so this was the original controller that they released See, I really wanted this pastel pink side, but I really don't care for this green side. I thought it was more mint, but it's more like lime green, pastel lime green for no reason. Like why? Um, so they released this. I bought it. Yes, I still haven't opened it. That's not the point. <laughs> That's not the point. Um, and then they released this controller. Isn't she beautiful? So yeah, I got this. And then this is the new game. <laughs> I'm so excited to play it. It just looks so freaking cute. It's Peach in all of her mini outfits, beating bad guys on a stage. <laughs> so yeah, what a wonderful intermission that was. So yeah, I spent $150 buying that new um, pastel pink controller with pink on both sides and that game because games are so expensive. It was like $60 which is down from like the $70 that games normally are. But this one, um, like it's not like a full, full, full game that has like years worth of content. Like it's just like a normal, like play it through <laughs> and like that's it type of game. So it was like $10 cheaper <laughs> than games that give you like years of content, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I wasted money and bought that, but like, it's money that I, I wouldn't have anyway. Like, it's free money. Not free as in, like, bonus. Because I still consider my bonus as, like, part of my compensation, you know? It's a weird mental space in my head. But, like, my bonus, I'm like, oh, I need to be responsible. I need to save some. I need to buy some expensive home June. Like, I have plans. I have plans for my bonus. <laughs> I love how saving and buying expensive home Junes was in the same category. But anyway, so... Yeah, it was just like free money that like I didn't expect, didn't bank on, didn't have, you know, any specific plans for or anything. So I was just like, yeah, go wild, go crazy. <laughs> so I spent $150 buying that. Um, and then with the rest, I am going to get a gift card to the Cheesecake Factory because that's where I want to go for my birthday. Because I love, I don't like cheesecake, but I love Cheesecake Factory cheesecake. It makes no sense, but it makes sense. So yeah, that's where I want to go. I could eat Cheesecake Factory for the rest of my days and be perfectly happy. Um, not only because of their ex expansive, expansive menu. <laughs> like I could have anything I could ever even want. Like you want Asian? They got it. You want Mexican? They got it. <laughs> you want Chinese? They got it. Like Thai. Uh, but anyway. So yeah, that was a really long rant about me basically being ungrateful about free money. <laughs> well, not ungrateful, just highly suspicious. Highly suspicious. <laughs> like, I don't, could you see, do you understand? Like given the context, why I would feel like I was winning survey contests. Like one of them was like, oh, here's for, you know, satisfaction surveys. And I'm like, I have 12. At that time, I had like eight. And I was like, I have eight whole surveys. Like I, I haven't even met the minimum requirement yet. What do you mean <laughs> that I've won an award for? <laughs> oh, and then like what I find absolutely hilarious is that like my manager ended up sending me a gift card too. <laughs> 
Um, I think she sent one to like everybody on the team as just like a thank you for, you know, getting through the business tax deadline and, you know, working our butts off to get as many um, extensions and returns filed for business tax as we possibly could. So that was a like a nice gesture. That one I understood. The other ones I'm like, I don't, I think we need to recount. Like, I'm not sure. <laughs> But I already spent it now, so like I don't, I don't know. Take it up with Jesus. I don't know what to tell you at this point. I already didn't spend it. Um. So yeah, but <laughs> it's been a very interesting tax season. This is my first year on business tax, and I, I really like it. I was really, really apprehensive going into it because although I have done business taxes, I haven't on such a large scale with such a wide variety of business tax problems. <laughs> and so I was just really apprehensive going into it, but it's been good. I think I'm doing well. <laughs> Actually, well, not artificially shy, scam the AI. <laughs> Let me not use the word scam. <laughs> Let me not even put that out there. I scammed no one. I took nothing from no one. Like, this is a multi-billion dollar company. They are fine. <laughs> Without my little $235 worth of gift cards. Like, they're fine. They're they're honestly fine. Not saying that is an excuse for people to go out and, and scam companies. Like, please don't commit white collar crime. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to be something I was going to need to say on my K-pop YouTube channel. But... <laughs> just in case <laughs> so that it, nobody's like shy told me to go commit white collar crime because they already have so much money no i didn't <laughs> no i did not that's not what i'm saying <laughs> not at all don't do that <laughs> i'm just saying like you know as apprehensive as i as, as i am you know receiving what is apparently just recognition for me doing my my normal regular everyday job um <laughs> You know, I don't think they would really come after me, even if it was an error to be like, hey, we want our $235 back. Like, I don't think they would. <laughs> so that's all I'm that's all I'm saying about that. But wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's a carrot cake. <laughs> I need to be stopped. <laughs> Wow, this took three packs of sleeves. I also love how unsleeved ATs is the same size of everybody else besides Psyker's sleeved. That's <laughs> for boating. <laughs> but yeah, let's sleeve ATs. I know dang well this is not going to be enough dragon sleeves. Hopefully two boxes is enough. This is like a box and a half. So this is like 150 dragon shields. Like, <laughs> have I surpassed 150 cards in one month for 80s? Like, I haven't even started on not okay. I didn't need this many of them, but it's, this is fine. This is fine. Um, I haven't even started on not okay yet. And like, I have most of the like album cards for the era done. So like, what? What could be left besides like a mountain? I don't have space, Park Song Hwa. Could you just <laughs> let me live for two seconds? Oh, uh, my goodness. My goodness. I just, let's just pray. I don't even know what cards these clear cards go on. Um, to be honest, we're going to have to figure that out. So for now, we're just going to. Set those, set those over there. Oh, but yeah, oh, this is going to be a lot to store. I mean, it always kind of is, but like, this is going to be a lot, a lot, like a lot, a lot. <laughs> and my binders are not prepared in the slightest. Also, I'm sorry if my content has been rather redundant lately, but like I said, I just have not had time. Like I have been working massive massive amounts of hours um like 65 hour weeks and such and so like with one day off a week <laughs> 
if I get that. Some some of the weeks I did not even have a day off, so yeah, no, making it through. But goodness, I just have not really had time. Like I want to make some more diverse content for you guys, but I hope you can bear with me because like hauls and things like this that I don't really have to like set up or prepare for too much are just the easiest things for me to make right now. And I'm trying not to leave you guys in like just a straight up content drought. <laughs> um, but in doing that, it's been kind of redundant. So I'm sorry about that. If you've been like, wow, another haul shy, another one, like, I'm sorry. The only thing I can really do between phone calls is buy something, is buy Hongjun. So I'm doing my best, okay? Please stop yelling at me. I'm just kidding. Nobody's yelling. <laughs> but yeah, if you were feeling like my content's been a little redundant lately and a little bit shorter than normal, somebody's probably thriving. Somebody's probably thriving with short content, Shy. But <laughs> in case that's not you, don't worry. I'll be back at it. Like, after tax season is over, we all just got to make it through April 15th. We all do. It's It's a struggle. But... Yeah, I just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there. If you're like, wow, Shai's changed. She's making short content now. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll be back to normal before you know it. What in the how? Why? Oh, he goes this way. I was like, what is going on here? I'm still so happy about this card. Like, so happy. So, so, so happy. <laughs> uh. Uh. And I can't, first of all, ATs needs to sit down. I keep saying it, but like they, they really need to sit down. It's not even so much about the money as, and it is, it is a lot of money. It is a lot of money to keep up with the ATs. But like even more than that, like stuff keeps dropping and I'm just like, I don't, I don't have the wherewithal. <laughs> I don't have the capacity to keep track of just everything that they have going on. I don't know how they keep track of every, everything that they have going on. Between all the appearances and going on tour in various countries and then concert merch and then this merch and birthday merch, which we got a new type of birthday merch for you know. And I was like, is this what we going is this what we gonna do going forward? Or is this just like a special you know thing? Because I feel like they're trying to transition the merch to where it starts with Yuno. Know, because he is the first birthday of the year. And for no reason at all, they never thought that through. And they just dropped Yosang's birthday merch. <laughs> Which in my personal opinion was quite half-baked. Like if you have Yosang's birthday merch or if you've seen it, you'll know the kind of like packaging it came in. <laughs> it's not horrendous, but it ain't cute. <laughs> The cup is cute, but like the box that the cup is in is just so plain and like looks honestly kind of haphazard, especially compared to like all the other birthday merch. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I think they're trying to transition it and make you know the start of the birthday merch. So he got two, and then if that's gonna be true, then Songhua will have tr um two, and then when we get back to Yosang. Um, which will be after Songhua, then we'll just have that one. But it was like this really cute photo package set that was like in the shape of a cassette. It's so pretty. So, I mean, that would honestly be great if that's going to be the birthday merch this year because it was so much cheaper, so much cheaper. And it's probably going to be a whole lot easier to ship than their freaking bulky box just to have a singular tiny keychain and a photo card. <laughs> oh, I love my son so much and I will continue to buy their birthday merch. So, you know, I can complain all I want, but like if I'm still going to buy it, I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> and I know this, I embrace this. Um, but yeah, so if they're going to just shift to that for this upcoming year, that would be great because that thing was like 20 bucks. And like it's it's everything in it is made out of paper. We get a cute photo shoot of just you know, like it's really, really beautiful birthday merch and it feels really, really special. Um, not that the others didn't, just that, you know, I just really, really 
like this direction for the birthday merch, if that is the direction that we are going to go in. Um, I don't know if that's just going to be like starting this year, that's going to be like in addition to, <laughs> like if they're going to have like a merch item and that photo package. Because if that happens, then like, I will probably still get the merch for Mats Hongjun because he's Hongjun and Songhua because we have the same birthday. This is in fact my twin. Don't we look alike? <laughs> Let me stop before the Songhua aunties come out here and cancel me. Um, or not aunties, but you know, the like Songhua protectors, <laughs> even though they're like protecting a man that, anyway. Um, so yeah, if they're going to do that, I will buy like the physical merch or whatever kind of thing they design for Hongjun and for Songhua and then just get the photo package for everybody else. And that will be honestly so much easier on me. So much easier on me. <laughs> just financially and mentally because like I just don't have space to keep storing huge bulky birthday merch things but like I still want it so like I would I would just have to figure it out but if I don't have to that would just be great if ATs can be mindful of the space that I have in my home and that it is not an infinite void <laughs> and that I have to actually put these things that they're selling somewhere that would just be wonderful you know that would just be the bee's knees of them so yeah I really hope that like the photo package is going to be an option for all of the members this year so that way I can just have like a convenient light to ship cheaper to buy easier to store version of the birthday merch for all the members because I do love getting the birthday merch for every single one of them they are all my bias <laughs> 80s as OT8 is my ult um, it just so happens that Kim Hong Joon is my ult of ults, but still, I do bias every single member of AT, so I would never, like, not get their birthday merch. But yeah, if I could have a different birthday merch option, would be phenomenal. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, they dropped round three of the, like, pot global collab this morning, which I was like, y'all couldn't even bother to add new like actual merch for this because like the first drop had like two different colored t-shirts and like a pouchy and like a bag or whatever and then the second one they dropped like keychains and then two different colored shirts and I think like a, a shoulder bag or something and I was like whatever and I knew there was going to be a third round I was like no they're taking it too easy on us and sure enough this morning they're like hey third round <laughs> they didn't even drop any new merch items though and they're doing like the like spin thing, the complicated spin thing. And you're like, oh, well, each merch item gives you a ticket and you need this many tickets to get the photo card, which for this one, you need four tickets to get a photo card. And so you would have to buy two of the cheapest merch items. And so I literally this morning woke up at 5 a.m. And did K-pop math. Like, I had to figure out for each merch item, what was the price per ticket that each merch item gave us? Because, you know, each merch item gave you a different number of tickets and they all had different prices. Ugh. So I was literally out here sitting in my bed. Sun hasn't even come up. <laughs> Figuring out the K-pop math of the price that we would have to pay per ticket for buying a certain merch item and figuring out how many tickets we would need to get OT8 of the cards. And they also had like a little like handwritten keychain thing. And I was like, I'm sorry, but I can't, I can't care about that. <laughs> I can't care about that. I'm sorry. Um, so I calculated it out and like the cheapest that I could or the cheapest that there was, was $9 per ticket. And again, you need four tickets. So like you had to spend a minimum of $36 to get this photo card. And I'm like, are y'all insane? But they don't want to like just come out and say that. So they do this complicated. It's the same thing that like games do. They're like, oh, convert your 
they're like, oh, spend 99 cents and we'll give you 50 gems. And then like the gems convert into like gold coins, which can convert into like flowers. So you never actually know how much you're spending in game because you're like, oh, I'm spending in game currency and you don't know the actual value of that. It's like that. They're using that tactic. And I'm like, I see you. Like, you're not, you're not fooling me. I'm going to calculate the price per ticket and I'm going to know exactly what I'm spending to get, you know, each and everything. So yeah, the cheapest items were $9 per ticket. <laughs> that was the absolute cheapest you can find it at. And so it limited my go to three items, which happened to be the socks, the um, keychains, and then the shoulder bag randomly. And I'm like, why wouldn't you make the shirts? the cheapest price per ticket. I mean, it wasn't that far off. I think one of the shirts ended up being like $9.38 per ticket. And then another one, the other shirt, which I don't know why they were like different prices, but they were. Um, the other shirt ended up being like $9.58 per ticket. And I was just like, I'm not adding that cost to my go. Like my go joiners do not want to pay that. So um, not that I like forced them to join every round, but like just in case. So I went with the cheapest option. I was like, you'll get a merch item. I I don't know. We'll figure it out depending on how many people like actually join this round. Because like I said, there's no new merch item, but there is a new photo card. And I have a feeling that these are going to be expensive later because they're reminding me a lot of what they did for um, the collect book PCs. And yeah, those are so expensive. If you have never seen the From Store Collect Book PCs, the special PCs that they did at the end of all of them dropping us their terrible t-shirts that we don't want, <laughs> but we buy for ATs anyway. Um, yeah, they did a special thing with tickets and like you got, you could only get certain tickets by buying a collect book. And then there was like a random photo card in it and ugh, such a mess. Cards so expensive, <laughs> so expensive, but they're pretty. They were so pretty though. I don't know if we'll get super pretty cards this time around. I feel like they've been giving us really bland cards ever since they have switched from calling themselves Wonderwall to Pot Global. Um, but yeah, hopefully the cards are cute because I'm buying them regardless. But yeah, you know, a girl can only hope because I know if this is the one that I don't buy, this is going to be the cute one. So by me buying it, I ensure that it's not cute. <laughs> Shy logic. <laughs> and regardless, I want all the Hong Junes. So, you know, whatever. But yeah, so we're, we're doing our best. And like also they have record store day coming up in early April, which is where they're dropping two? either one or two new limited vinyl color, vinyl colors. That's, that was hard for me to say for no reason. Um, so yeah, they're dropping two new vinyl colors, but like also I do believe that those vinyls will have an exclusive track. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm June, you gonna put a whole track on it? And of course these are in person only, but they, seem to be more widespread than the indie cards were like the indie cards they were obscure they were obscure unless you lived in like LA um and like the stores here just like have ne have like never even heard of like what I was talking about and there was like one store in Texas who had it <laughs> and they were persnickety about it let's just say but anyways so yeah, they're dropping a one or two new vinyl colors, which I would have just wanted for the sake of collecting their vinyls. But also the vinyls have a, a photo card or photo ticket. I think it's a photo ticket, not a card. It's a ticket, but like, I still want it. I still want it. Regardless, I still want it. They're member photo tickets. Um, And yeah, there's there's a new unreleased track on there and I was like Hong Joon Kim Hong Joon not only am I gonna have to buy vinyl but I'm gonna have to buy a vinyl player because <laughs> I don't own one because <laughs> this is not the 1940s ah so yeah I'm really excited for that but like 
it's it's gonna be a hunt I, I will go to every single store that sells vinyls in this city to find it like you think I won't but I will I will take the day off of work like, I will call into work for this shit <laughs> be like I'm sorry I can't come I can't come in I have a Kim Hong Jun emergency I gotta go I gotta go <laughs> wow don't know how it's a character <laughs> It's stuck in my head. It won't leave. It won't leave. Ever since the first mo moment I heard it this morning, it has just been stuck in my head. The whole album is really good, though. Um, I don't really listen to too much dream music. It tends to not be my style. But I really do like this album. Box was really good. Um, the other un unsomething. Unsomething. I don't know. I haven't been listening to it except for carrot cake <laughs> that's a carrot cake <laughs> which i have already listened to in a healthy amount of time <laughs> obviously um i haven't listened to the whole album a whole lot i think i've listened to the whole thing through like two times and then carrot cake like fifty-seven thousand times because <laughs> it's a carrot cake <laughs> i love it I love it. It's just peak nonsensical NCT. I love it. I love it so much. Ah, <sighs> but yeah, so 80s just has so much going on and I'm like, we barely <laughs> just finished on the collecting side. Outlaw. <laughs> like we're still there. Nonetheless, Will, which I've only just started receiving my pobs for. Like, could you could you wait a minute? Like, you want us to buy these things. Could you at least wait until we receive them? And then the monster, the absolute monster that is going to be Annie T's. It's a beast. I don't know how I went from, oh, I'll just host a small go. I don't know what it's going to be like. I don't know what's going to be available online. <laughs> to... <laughs> I think the last time I looked at it, it was like 1,100 individual items. 1,100 items coming to my home for Annie Tees. Just Annie Tees. Um, that is daunting. That's a daunting number. Although, um, you know, like I think 400 of that is just photo card packs. Maybe 500. It's four or 500. That's that's a large difference. <laughs> I'm a, I'm aware. Um, but I kept like adding photo card packs because people wanted to, you know, add photo card packs while they were still up for pre-order. So I kept, you know, adding more to my form so that people could claim them and everything like that, which, you know, makes me really happy that people trust me as they're going. They're like, hey, I trust to, you know, send shy hundreds of dollars worth of my hard earned money. And I know like she's not going to scam me, which I'm not. <laughs> So like, you know, I'm happy that people want to join me, but good God, good God, did that get out of hand fast, <laughs> like so fast. Um, so yeah, like 1100 Annie T's things. I was thinking about doing a live, like a YouTube live, just opening all of the Annie T's packs because <laughs> I thought it would be like a fun uh, way to pass the time, but I don't know. Let me know if you guys would like that. If you... You can pop in and out as you see fit and you don't have to stay the whole time because it's going to take a while. It's going to take probably a couple of hours <laughs> to open all of those. But I also think it'd be really exciting to see like, you know, the cards as I'm pulling them and like being able to answer questions and things and just chit chat, you know, normal shy things. Oh my God. Are we really going to need another box? Please, please no. Please no. <laughs> Ah, uh, but yeah, um, we also have like five trillion of the plushies coming. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. Because of course, like everybody wanted to get their member plushie, and I'm so glad that I don't really have to open those because the member cards are guaranteed. So I'm going to unbox obviously the ones that I bought and probably the ones that my uh, bestie bought. <laughs> I'm gonna fondle her items. Uh, just to see 
like how the photo cards are packed and everything like that and see if I need to take them out like because sometimes like I'm aware that like yes it did make it all the way from Korea to me like just fine and safe and sound but still it makes me uncomfortable how some things are packed <laughs> And so I'm like, well, you know, is this something that like I can just send as is or do I need to repack this because it makes me feel unsafe? <laughs> like I just I cannot have that on my conscience that I could have like put a card in a top loader and prevented it from being crushed. Like I just I can't live with that guilt. So if I can prevent damage, I'm going to prevent damage, which reminds me I need to order shipping shields, a lot of shipping shields. So like we're going to need a multitude of shipping shields. Good God. Um, so yeah, we just, we got, we got a lot going on. We got a lot going on for 18. <laughs> and of course I have been in my full, I collect Park Sung Hwa era, which I'm still regretting. <laughs> I'm full of regrets. <laughs> oh, he's just so cute. He's just so cute. But yeah, I'm definitely, I I feel you, Shine Stars. I get it. I get it. I, I hear you. I feel your pain. I get it now. Like, I mean, I always kind of got it, but like, it's, it's different when you're in the trenches. You can hear about the trenches, but unless you're in the trenches... You don't really know. <laughs> so yeah, just, you know, collecting Songhua in general, those struggles, but then also like fighting with myself, being like, you don't need this Songhua card because it's not like I went into this intending to collect as much as, uh, as much for him as I do for Hongjun because absolutely not. <laughs> but like, there's just been so many things that I'm like I want Songhua's too I I want this Songhua and like I just have not been stopping myself like I normally would when I was definitely not collecting Mark Songhua <laughs> when I was for sure 100% not collecting Park Songhua and I had that like inner no voice she's gone she she retired she put in her two weeks <laughs> at the start of the new year and she's she's gone so there's no little inner voice telling me that I can't have a Park Sung Hwa. And without that, I'm I'm getting a lot of Park Sung Hwa. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, we need to we need to reevaluate, <laughs> reassess. Um, and come to terms with like, even though I am allowing myself to collect him this year and probably for all of eternity, because I don't know how we're gonna put the lid back on that jar. Um we we can't get all of the Park Sung Hwa's. Like, this was supposed to allow myself the freedom to get some Park Sung Hwa's, the really cute Park Sung Hwa's, and, like, gone off the rails. We have gone off the rails. <laughs> a little, a little bit, a tad bit. <laughs> so, yeah, that has been so interesting. It's been an interesting process. <laughs> And I don't know what to do about it, but like, I can't say I'm not happy having all of these Park Sung Hwa's. So, you know, we'll maybe, we'll maybe find the balance this year. But I think more than anything, I'm so ready to collect not ATs. Don't get me wrong. I love collecting ATs. I'm so grateful that I can collect as much ATs as I do. But like, I also really love my other collections and I miss collecting those other collections. <laughs> Everything has kind of been on hold um, since New Year's because it was just tax season ramped up fast this time. Like I thought I was going to have more time and like it would be a little bit slower for a bit longer. But no, not at all. Not in the slightest. It has been like full force. And then just like doubling down the closer that we got to the deadline. So I just have not had the time, space, and energy. Nonetheless, the funds. Because ATs, again, continues to drop things. Um, and I'm never going to say no to ATs. Like, that's not going to happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I really want to use a good chunk of my bonus to just finally fill in and catch up my other collections that I enjoy collecting and stop neglecting them. <laughs> but 
But again, that's another end of tax season thing. But in the meantime, I have gotten some fire K-pop music besides carrot cake, which I love. <laughs> and I've made it abundantly clear that I love. I really, really loved Kravity's album. So I was watching um, the queen herself, our template queen, Miss Etini Alice. I was watching her video um, of her storing PCs recently. And... She was storing Cravity PCs, which I love watching her Cravity collection. It's so beautiful. But yeah, she was like, go listen to the Cravity album. And I was like, oh, I haven't even gotten to it yet. And I, again, love hearing people vet the B-sides for me. I'm like, which B-sides are fire? Like, what? where do I need to like listen to first? And she was like, no, 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 no. Go listen to the Cravity um album the b-sides are so good specifically there was one track i forget the name of it but it, it really is so good my brain's mush right now oh that was loud for no reason thanks specific also the nasifics the nasifics <laughs> unrelated with the nasifics i'll just put the title on the screen i'll figure it out i'll look it up whatever and i'll put it on the screen but that song is so good so good honestly one of the best songs in Cravity's discography if I'm being quite frank like that song is so good so yeah I kind of started with that one and then I just listened uh to the album from top to bottom and honestly this is one of my favorite favorite Cravity albums Adrenaline will probably always be my favorite title track for them I just it's so perfect like Nicka Joe high like a big rush of adrenaline. Nicka like Joe high like a big rush of adrenaline. And like, that's... <laughs> oh, that was my carrot cake before carrot cake exist existed. But <laughs> the B-sides on that album, so good. I love adrenaline era. The looks, the looks, mm, everything. But yeah, so... That one will probably always be my favorite just for nostalgia's sake and because I still love it and listen to it every single day. But this album is probably my second favorite that they have done. And like, again, that's saying something because I really do love Cravity's discography. Their music is so, so good. So, so good. But yeah, no, this is okay. I swear to God, these were so hard. They just like decimate at the, at the drop of a hat. For what? For what reason? Why? But yeah, Cravity's B-Sides. So, 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 so good. I'm so proud of them. I cannot wait to catch up on my Cravity collection. Young Tay, please wait for me. <laughs> okay, we really might need another box of... <laughs> I don't want to say the words. It's not real. If I don't acknowledge it, it's not real. Also, this 80s tower is looming. She is looming. Um, but yeah, so, so, so good. Um, the Itzy album that came out, so good. I love that Itzy is back to their more mature concepts. Because I just feel like, you know, I'm not calling them old. <laughs> I'm not, I am not calling them old. <laughs> they are still very much younger than me. So like, who am I to call anybody old? <laughs> um, but just, I feel like, the sound that they had kind of switched to after Crazy in Love era, which was so good. I loved Crazy in Love era. It's why I started collecting Etsy and then they just kind of <laughs> took a took a turn, let's say. Um, yeah, I just don't feel like that sound really suited where they are at in like the life stage that they're in and like their career it really sounded very nugu if i'm being real honest and like if they're debuting you know 14 year old idols that is the sound that i would expect for them <laughs> not you know 20 something year old women who have been in this industry for years at this point so that was a turn that that took a turn but you know i still stuck by itsy you know yeah she's my girl love all of them Hopefully it gets better soon. I know it's a struggle, but um, 
So yeah, I really like that Itzy kind of went back to a more mature sound. I just feel like it suits them a lot better. And you know, haters still gonna hate, but I'm I'm really proud of them. Personally, I'm really proud of them. <laughs> I really can't wait for my first VVs comeback. I don't know how often they actually come back. I don't actually know that. <laughs> But whenever it is, I'm ready. I'm ready. I hope, I hope to God. <laughs> I hope to God it is not during an AT's comeback because it's, I'm going to be on the oxygen and dreams diet if that's the case. But like, I really want to, you know, participate in the comeback. Like I want to stream. I want to buy lots of albums that I don't know where to put in my home. Like <laughs> It's just so fun to me. Um, I want to do pools, like the whole nine yards. I want to, I want to really, you know, do the thing. I want to do the thing. <laughs> so yeah, I can't wait for VVs to have a comeback. Of course, I absolutely adore their music. Like just immaculate discography. Love it so much. And then Purple Kiss just had their comeback with BBB or BBX. I don't, I don't know which one... The album is called one and then the title track is called the other. So either the album is called BBB and then the title track is called BBX or vice versa. Vice versa. I don't, unsure. But I really, really love this album for Purple Kiss. This is one of my favorites. I mean, in my heart, nothing can top cabin fever like sweet juice <laughs> stays on repeat stays on repeat I love sweet juice so much um and I really really love zombie their second comeback I believe zombie is such a such a bop I just mm, sometimes I just start singing that out of the blue um but I feel like this is like a solid third place in my heart but like maybe second place overall like objectively it's just so good it's so good so I'm just really proud of everybody oh my god no we're gonna need more dragon <laughs> no there's more than 150 AT scars are you serious <laughs> be so for real right now past shy what were you doing <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let me go get another box of dragon shields. This is insane. Third box of dragon shields in this video. That's insane. We just out here wilding. We just out here. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the fact that I really mainly just collect Hongju mostly, kind of. <laughs> Not me not even being able to say the sentence with a straight face. <laughs> but yeah, I've been enjoying all of the comebacks that have come out. Um, I really enjoyed Twice's comeback too. It was really sweet. It was really sweet. I've been watching a lot of like Twice unboxings for no reason. <laughs> I'm not going to collect Twice. I'm, I'm really not. But I just, I just enjoy seeing them. I just enjoy seeing full grown women in K-pop. <laughs> just in general just brings me joy <laughs> uh but yes moral of the story <laughs> after the journey I just took y'all on is that I will be bringing you guys more interesting more diverse more shy content in the future just hang on just hold on <laughs> We just got to make it through tax season, really. And then in the summer, when I'm jobless, I won't be jobless, but, like, there's not nearly as much, like, tax business in the summer. It is the slowest period for tax accountants, specifically, um, before it picks back up again in the fall and then the winter and then spring. Holy God, spring. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I'll just have a whole lot more time on my hands to bring you guys the content that you have been asking me for. I know a lot of you have been commenting um, video ideas that you want to see me do. I really appreciate it. If you have something you would like to see me do in the future, leave a comment. I promise I am reading them. I am taking them into consideration and anything that I am capable of doing, I will happily do. Um, I love making content for you guys. This is my happy space and it is a lot of yours as well, I have been realizing. And so happy to do it love to do it but yeah it's gonna take them <laughs> i as always will be late but i will be here um i just didn't want to like leave you guys in a content drop i used to do that a lot in like my early early days of posting when i was filming in my closet on a potato <laughs> in the dark <laughs> I would just like post a lot and then there would be like nothing for like two months <laughs> and then I would just magically reappear. <laughs> so I've been trying to like smooth that out. I don't think I'll ever be a person that has like an upload. Oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, oh, <laughs> I hate everything. I want to go home. <laughs> I swear there is nothing more slippery on this earth than a pile of sleeved photo cards. Ah, shouldn't have stacked them that high. I was Icarus. That was the hubris of mankind right there. That's what I get. <laughs> Gonna have to reorganize that whole thing. Uh, anyways, I lost my I lost my train of thought, but I I don't want to leave you guys in a drought so I hope that you can just accept <laughs> the content that I am able to post right now and know that brighter things will probably be on the horizon I don't know who knows you could hate the future content I don't know. <laughs> but I hope you won't but anyways with that we are done sleeping the monstrosity that is 80s I need to go deal with a collapsed 80s tower now but <laughs> Hey, we are crooked. We are disheveled. <laughs> but that's that's chill with shy for you. So, anyways, until the next time, all of my photo cards collapse and leave me in utter disarray in the minutes before I finish a video. <laughs> that's a carrot cake. <laughs>